another episode of Amanda Star's Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of the newer Shakira fragrance, Summer Rock Fruity Vibes. So this fragrance launched this year, and like I said in the previous video, is technically the fourth or fifth edition to the Rock line. This came out as a limited edition collection with this one, which is Summer Rock Sweet Candy. There's a review on this of this one on my channel. If you go link um, down below for that one. So the box looks like this this time very similar to the original box very similar to the sweet candy box And it is a bright bright orange almost like reddish orange and it says summer rock by Shakira up here It says fruity vibes down here. It just says eau de toilette 30 milliliter um, Sides and back are all black. It just hi high gloss black with the black bar the bottom barcode and the Shakira logo on top the bottle looks like this this time and is orange fluid with an orange logo that says summer rock by shakira fruity vibes um both of these bottles are very similar to each other the only difference is one is pink and one is orange the promo pictures made these fluids look a little bit more vibrant than they really are um the orange one you can almost barely tell that it is even orange tinted so um this one your notes for Summer Rock Fruity Vibes, top notes are Mandarin, Pink Pepper, and Lychee. Middle notes are Peonies, Jasmine, and Gardenia, with base notes of Patchouli, Tonka Bean, and Musk. So, I will say, this one's not exactly like any other Shakira fragrance. Um, I, unlike Sweet Candy, which is very similar to Essie Floral, this one, very much Pink Pepper, um... That's a, the standout note of this fragrance is that pink pepper note. Um, I get a little bit of the mandarin, uh, not a whole lot of it. I get a little bit of lychee, not a whole lot of it. As it starts to dry down, I'm definitely getting the peonies, the jasmine, and the tonka bean from the base. A little bit of the musk, but it's not super strong in any of those notes. Definitely the standout note is that pink pepper. It isn't like a black pepper spiciness. Um, pink pepper is a little bit different. And the aspect of the florals are in here are providing a backup so it's not straight up pink pepper. But it's definitely a strong pink pepper note. If you do not like pink pepper in your fragrances, you probably will not like this one. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't develop a whole lot throughout the fragrance either. Um, as it starts to dry down, just the pink pepper doesn't become as prominent. And the peony and the jasmine start to come up a little bit more. But it's... Excuse me, I had like a brief hiccup thing. Anyway, um, it just, it doesn't develop a whole lot more than what it, you first spray it, it, more than just the pink pepper drying down a little bit and those floral notes coming out. Um, lasting power is about four hours. Um, it lasts about the same as the other one. And I definitely say this would be a springtime fragrance. Um, it is more of a floral fragrance than a fruity fragrance. I would definitely would describe this as summer rock floral vibes. Um, more than fruity vibes because I'm not really getting a whole lot of fruit from this. Um, I definitely think that sweet candy is more fruity than this is. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. So, I'm sorry this review wasn't super detailed, but this fragrance doesn't have a whole lot to say about it. Um, it's just very much a pink pepper with a floral peony and jasmine heart with the musky ending. So, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter, it is Perfume, and Instagram, among the stars perfume. Links are in the description below, as always. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.